Hello all. I have Hello all. I am making this video because I've been getting a lot of questions from people about how do I insert a mapped content control where when I change the formatting in to one copy of it, it doesn't change throughout the document. Uh, and the key to that is to insert it as a plain text content control, not a rich text content control. So I'm going to show you uh, how to do that. And then if you've messed your document up and don't want to start over, how to change a content control from rich text to plain text. So I've already done the uh, content control mapping and stuff. If you don't know how to do that, that's in another video of mine. And I have this XML part here attached to this document. So I'm going to put a rich text content control in this field. And I'll use these phrases here. So I'll use phrase confidential, right click it. Oh, wait. I need to move this, dislodge it here so you can see on the video everything I'm doing uh, without it getting cut off. Okay, so I've got my cursor here under rich text. I'm going to go to phrase conf, right click, insert, and I'm going to choose rich text. So we've got that one in there. Now normally in real life I'd go into the properties and the developer ribbon at this point and give it a name and do some other things, but I won't subject you to that because you already know how to do that if you've watched my other video. So now I will do the delivery phrase and make it plain text. Oops, undo, silly me. I didn't put my cursor where I wanted it. Plain text, okay. Now let me put this back over here. Just double click that to lodge it back over there. All right, so I have these two content controls. I'm going to take and just copy and paste this row a few times using the keyboard. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Uh, and I will put some text in these. Now, because they're mapped, it doesn't matter which one I click. Um, And you can see they all update. And then I'll do the top one here. As soon as I leave the field or the content control, they update. OK, simple enough. Now, what happens when we format one of them? So let's say I take, I'll do this whole row. And I'm going to make uh, everything red and bold and underline. And you already see what's happening, I italicize. The rich text content control will use that formatting throughout, whereas the plain text one will not. So um, insert it as plain text instead of rich text. And then one thing for plain text content controls, I will go into the properties for this one real quick. Developer, properties. For plain text, if you want to be able to press enter or yeah, inside it, you need to tell it to allow carriage returns so that you can have multiple paragraphs in the properties. For the rich text, it's already defaults that way. So just be aware of that when you do the plain text controls. All right, so how do I fix this? Well, Unfortunately, you're much better off if you just start properly and insert the content controls properly from the beginning. But once you've done a whole bunch of work on a document and you discover this issue after the fact, you may be disinclined to just starting over, you know, attaching your XML part and whatnot. So what I would do, for, first you do have to remove the existing rich text content control wherever it is in the document. So I'm just going to delete all those. Then you're going to insert it as plain text. If you try to do that before you delete them all, it won't let you. Uh, so phrase confidential is the one we were using. Right click, insert. Oh, sorry. I keep forgetting that my video is only so wide. Um, right click, insert, plain text. Now, here's the problem. Once it was rich text and you insert it as plain text, 
after deleting all of them, you get this. I'm going to undo that. And so what I'm going to do is go to the very end of the document. Control end. I'm at the end. Now I'm going to insert it as plain text. Now I still get all that junk, but it's much easier to delete it because it go, it's long. It goes quite a ways. So to delete it, what I can do is click at the very beginning and I'll just type a little bit of text here like place holder text. That will keep the content control there. Shift key on my keyboard. Shift means you're selecting and then control end. Shift control end selects from where my cursor is to the end of the document. Now I am going to keep that shift key held down and I'm on the keyboard still. I'm just going to hit the back arrow so that I'm inside the end of the content control. And now I have everything selected from where I started to here. Press delete on the keyboard and all I've got left is my placeholder text. Ah, now we're good. Now I can get rid of this if I want to. I can get rid of it now or later, but basically I just reset that content control. So now if I put it in, I could have copied and pasted that one that was already there, <clears throat> excuse me, or cut and paste. But if I put it in again as plain text, it's good to go. And now I can copy these is what I would probably do. Copy, control C on the keyboard and then paste, control V on the keyboard wherever you need them in your document. Um, I could write a macro that would go in and find them all and replace them, uh, do a lot of that work, but <clears throat> that would be pretty involved. Not something I can really explain. Uh, so there we go. And now they are plain text. So if I change the formatting for one of them, I'm only affecting that one. It's not updating throughout the document. There you have it. Thank you for your attention to this matter.